Continuing coverage right now on CBS 6. Good evening. I'm Greg Floyd. The search for bodies in two burned out buildings in Schenectady put on hold tonight as new questions about building inspections start to surface. Police aren't saying exactly how many people they think are still missing, but there are some still missing. Local, state, and federal crews working today to shore up parts of the building before they could actually search completely for those bodies. It's a process we're told will take a while. Tori Wells is live at the scene right now. Tori, I know you learned one of those buildings was inspected right before this fire, I think the day before. That's exactly right. Police tell us that was a routine inspection because one of these buildings had recently been sold. Well, tonight, police and code are not releasing the outcome of that inspection. I do want to let you know, though, we have formally requested that from the city. Here on the scene, though, work just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. Crews putting all their equipment away, but you can see it's still taped off here. It's still a very active scene. And not far from here, family and friends of a man who lived in one of these apartments have been posting flyers. They're looking for him tonight. Do you recognize my brother? You know, this is what he currently looks like. This Michael is Robertson is looking for his brother, Robert Thomas, missing since this fire on Friday. Friends and family have been posting these flyers and checking with local hospitals, hoping perhaps he just got disoriented and wandered off. Anything's possible, and you know that's what we're trying to hold on to. Today, state fire, Schenectady Fire and Police, and the ATF continued their investigation into how this fire may have started and if any bodies were inside. The city told me this investigation will take quite a bit of time. Uh, right now, the workers are in the process of shoring up the interiors of the building. Uh, they'll be doing that so that they can uh, safely go inside and, and check the floors that have not collapsed. The Schenectady Police PIO told us one of the buildings was inspected the day before the fire. He said it was a routine inspection because the building had recently been sold. He couldn't confirm which one or what the outcome was. We're not releasing any information about the code violations or, or whether or not the alarm systems were working. And again, it'll be part of the investigation to determine whether or not they were working. I don't wish this upon anybody. Robertson says his heart goes out to the other families also missing a loved one and hopes good news comes out of this long, heartbreaking investigation. Pretty much right now, just um, waiting to hear any good news, any news at all. Live back here at the scene, you're taking a look at one of the ATF mobile command units here on the scene. You can see it's closed down for the night as well. Um, we did try to call who we believe own these two buildings here behind me to ask some of the questions that we've asked the city today. We have not heard back. I also want to let you know that many of the survivors from these buildings, they were staying at a Red Cross shelter not far from here. That shelter did close this evening, and I'm told that those people went to DSS today to find more permanent housing. We are live in Schenectady. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.